I needed to take a bite real quick. All right, still getting set up, guys. I am going to do a Goodwill haul. Excuse the lipstick or chapstick. Nivea. A Kiss of Shimmer. I've had this for like over a year or two. I don't even know. It's not one of, one of my favorite. So, I'm just getting my laptop set up here so I can see the comments if anyone has any questions or comments. Okay. Oh, hey, two viewers. Thanks for coming by. Y'all surprised me. Um, okay. Got it all set up here. Okay. So, <laughs> as you may know, I'm going to do a quick Goodwill haul. Um, and my total was $23.27. Says I spent, um, well, I mean, uh, pound-wise, 10 pounds, 10.35 pounds of hardline. And then they rang it up again, uh, not even a full pound, which was 53 cents for something else that she weighed separate. Um, so 53 cents on that, not even a pound. And then 7.35 pounds on clothes, and it says it rang up a dollar a pound. Can y'all see that? Yeah, I'm joking. Um, yeah, maybe that's better. But this is why I call my Goodwill the pound store. Right there says Goodwill pound store. And I swear the lady that I love that works there, um, she said, welcome to the pound store when I walked in and I was getting my cart. Okay, <clears throat> so as I was getting stuff out of my car in the back, I have a forerunner. Um, I noticed there were three things in the back of my car that have fallen out of my other holes. So, um, first thing, I'll show you the coolest, right? If I can get this ring off that I switched fingers on from the jewelry bag we just did in another video. Y'all ready? Okay. Uh, Mysterium Lugosi. I watch your videos because you're hot, but I also like your mind for business. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And Pickers is number one. You, all, you are awesome. Okay. So, as I've mentioned, when you make friends at the Goodwill stores, the regular shoppers are there every single week. And if you make friends, they know what you look for, and there may be something that doesn't interest them that they cannot sell, so they'll give it to you. So, somebody gave me this. <laughs> I had to do a theme on that, okay? Like, rah! Um, it's really cool. It's not, is that a face? Is that like a bird face? I don't know. You, you be the judge of that. Um, so you put it on your finger. I assume it's for a man because it has a really big finger hole there. But this section over here is not very wide, so who knows. Anyways, <clears throat> it's kind of barely fitting on me. So I don't think it's ster sterling silver, of course. It's just silver tone. Um, it's not broke or anything like that. I used to have one of those myself. I'm sure you did. Mysterium Lugosi. Um, so yeah, this has literally been in the back of my car for like, oh, let's say about a month or two, probably. Pretty sure. Raw. Raw. This is like goth. If I listed this, I would put this as goth. Yes, indeed I would. I need some of that mist to love over there, just so I can see it. It's like coffee. Okay, moving along. So, the next item that I picked up, oh, is that a, that's weird. That's weird. Um, is this cute little bird? It's kind of tarnished a little bit, um, but I don't know what this is for. So, it's like a stopper, but then I just realized it has like salt pepper holes, right? But it's, it can't be salt. Does this come out? 
doesn't smell like anything. So you can totally fill. It's hollow. It's got a rubber inside. Doesn't look like anything's been in there. But I think it's, it's a, a cap on something. But the cap does not allow anything to flow through. So I don't know what that is. Um, again, just a cute little cap. Last item, and I had two other ones of these, and everybody loves these. Um, they were trying to look for the other ones. I told them I had more, um, and so at my garage sale, they were literally digging in boxes for these because they, I guess, they love them. So it's the it's got a rubber handle, and then it's this is the coolest one actually. Quack. Um, so yeah, it's. Eh, it's it's not been used at all really it has that one or two little paint scratches oh yeah look at the shine on that bad boy um anyways is there a brand here i don't know but anyways i had two other ones and can anybody guess how much i sold one of these for where's my digital scale ah here it is <clears throat> Maybe y'all can help me calculate how much I exactly spent on this because I probably won't be able to. But I'll just let you know for the people who love to do math. Ready? We'll weigh it. 2.7 ounces. So if it's 75 cents a pound, I mean, I don't know. I'd say 20, 30 cents, maybe less. I don't know. Probably. 2.7 ounces. Anybody guess how much I paid for it? I mean, how much I sold it for? I wish, I wish, Mysterium. Yes, you have knives in your house. Subscribe to me too. Okay, I will. Um, if I can click your name, you won't even let me do it. $15. No, I wished I had though. Anybody else? How much did I sell it for in the garage sale? Not a huge profit, but it's out of my life, right? And it helped pay for some of the other junk I have. I sold it for one dollar each. So I've made two dollars off the other two that I sold. And this is the biggest one. Maybe I should try two dollars next time, right? Um, we need to put this up so my kids don't play with it. Y'all want to see my jewelry bag uh, and my perfume bottle? That's everything, except there's my rings are on my finger and the table and some earrings and two necklaces and earrings are on my table. But um, this is the jewelry bag haul that I did basically um, like five minutes ago. Not really, probably 15 minutes ago. Um, so yeah, sold that. I don't see the name anywhere. It's nameless. It has no name, but you can name it if you'd like or tell us the name. Okay, so let me show you the two bags. There's one. Oh, goodness. And there's two. So I'm just going to stand up right here so I can get rid of some of this. And maybe I'll get to... Oh, oh yeah. What's in there? Uh, here's some cha-ching-ching. -ching. Oh, are we going to have to rip the bag? Are we sure? Oh, cool. I just untied it when I ripped it. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Why did I get that? So I got this dog choker. They're most commonly used for pit bulls. Um, so I think I'll sell this at the garage sale because we ended up finding ours. Um, and my dog needs a new collar, so I need to go to the store and buy him one, I guess. Because just my luck, when I'm at the Goodwill, I won't find what I'm looking for, right? Um, so the other day, we were like, well, where's that choker so we can walk all the dogs together? And we couldn't, I don't know, this one's different. It's really different. Mine isn't shaped like this. Maybe this is an older version. It's weird, because it even has, like, this clasp thing that you squeeze. Let me show you all mine, even though you don't care. Or why should I show you? But it's right here. Mine is a lot easier to use. Um, so yeah, basically, if y'all don't know what they are, they are for like dogs who um, 
you're training them. Um, so this goes around like that. And so it doesn't hurt, but if they try to pull, then this will kind of warn them that, um, very good point. Um, I'll read y'all. So that's that older one. And then mine, we thought it was lost, but we found it. Um, so it just has a, a loop. So it just adjusts to the neck and it's always loose. I guess this one was probably a little bit better. I wonder if this one actually fits around their neck. So this one stays loose, but as soon as they pull, then it tightens around the neck. So I don't know. This one definitely seems like, I don't know, maybe it's adjustable. Who knows? I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to sell one of those or both of them in the garage sale because we don't need them really. Okay. So it looks like that's what was in one bag along with a Wilson's leather backpack. So I did get internet connection in Goodwill. It's like a huge warehouse made out of concrete and stuff um, downtown. I looked this up and they're going for like 40, maybe 50 bucks, but in like really newer condition. So goodness people drive me crazy sometimes people um it's it has a little bit of wear somewhere some color <clears throat> anyways um it's it doesn't have any holes and it doesn't have any damaging or anything yes mysterium uh lugosi um he's he or she i think it's a guy um, asked if I'll ever do a blog um, for my subscribers to answer questions. And actually, yes, I need to write that down. Um, maybe I'll do that tomorrow or this week, actually. Um, some question and answer things. So, anyways, yes, I would like to do that soon. Okay, um, so what popped out of the bag... Um, as you, some of you may know, um, some of my YouTube videos got popular on the toys that I did. And so YouTube actually pays me money because of those videos. Um, I came across a bunch of cute little Polly Pockets. Look at her hair. Uh, she was laying down for too long, wasn't she? Um, anyways, there's more inside the bag. So these are cute. They're mini little Barbies. Um, I think I shoved everything in this one big pocket. Nothing else is in the little pockets to make it easier on me and everybody. Okay, here's some more toys. Um, these are little people, and I've never really sold these before, but I know I had a friend that was obsessed with little people toys. So I found a couple of these, and I went ahead and got them. Ugh, I'm trying to... Yep, you can't see them. So there's a cow. I think this is Littlest People or Little People, whatever. I think this chicken goes. I'm not sure, except he's not hollow like these guys. So I don't know. Somebody let me know. Um, not hollow like that one, shall I say, too. Little People. So, yeah, there's the logo. Little People. He can't even say it. Boop. Nope. Blurry. Anyways, there's four. I think there's yeah two more here. Went ahead and got these. So she's got a frog in her hand. She a princess frog right there. Hollow. Um. Oh, she's got a frog too. She's a princess too. She's got a frog book or something. I don't know. Um. So oh, is he the prince? Ooh, we're gonna play with toys. Um, cool. Come at a time so I can make my schedule work with it so I can participate. Will do. Awesome. I'll try to work on that today. I love doing YouTube videos. Okay, guys. Hopefully can, someone can make me feel better about this, but I'm about to go crazy with these toys up over here, so we're going to have to move them. Oh, and before I forget, I got this roll of Chevron, like a poster. But it's a lot, and so I figured I would use it. It wouldn't fit as a background because it's too small. So it could either be wrapping paper or I was going to use it as a background to 
take pictures of stuff um, to list it for sale. So, um, sorry, I'm getting messages from different people. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's a lot, you guys, like a bunch. So I figured when one gets ripped up or damaged and dirty or anything like that, I'll just cut it off and use the extra. Okay, so there's that. <clears throat> um, my little boy plays with Lightning McQueen, and we only have the brown Mater truck, so I went ahead and got this uh, heavy metal truck from Lightning McQueen. And I believe that Lightning McQueen is coming out with a new movie. Something like that. Okay. As I was saying earlier, someone got a wedgie. A real wedgie. Joking. No, not joking. Um, so I wanted to put these back, but they're so cute. And I do have a recipe box. Okay. I found these cool wooden cardboard boxes, and they have vintage, is what I'm going to call them, a uh, vintage blank cute recipe cards i don't know if many people use recipe cards anymore since everything's on the internet but it's full um i think this is why i got them because this one has the cool little china hutch um so you can write on them so i didn't even take the time to look them up and see if they go for anything on ebay but um doesn't have a year course it wouldn't um here's what's cooking this one's a little bit bigger box thicker cardboard um kissing wears out cooking don't well that's rude oh look it folds out oh cool so it's a two-sided index card holder let me see if these other ones do that I don't think they do no, they don't. They're just a single page, so you can write on the back that's blank. Hmm. Okay. Here's what's cooking. From Colorado. They were made, I believe, or incorporated in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Last one. Love the little vintage look to it. Checkered, plaid, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pink and blue. Oh, look, it's got the cute little oven. How cute is that? Current brand on these, Casey Wakeman? Uh, I don't think, I don't know if they have a brand. I guess it's, here's what's cooking. They all are. Um, so I don't think I showed anything else that had a brand, did I? Um, so I think the brand or whatever on all of them says, here's what's cooking. And... This one's cute too. Look how cute that is. Is that an oven? Yeah, it is. Oh, and it has a cat sitting on the floor. Like, oh, I wish you guys could see the real picture of that. So it's got like the teapot steaming on the antique oven stove, whatever you want to call it. I'm dyslexic. There used to be a company called Current. They had everything stationary. Yeah, I don't know, but there um, <clears throat> there was only one of these. Oh, look, there's some strawberries back here. They mixed some of these up. So there's a stack of the stove, but then it looks like there's some strawberries and some apples in here too. So, but not very many. They must have used all the apples and the strawberries. I love me some strawberries, you guys. So I took a huge gamble on these, and you know what? There's the mailman, but I don't have anything to ship today because I sold it all in the garage sale. Uh, I still got stuff for sale. But anyways, um, again, I took a gamble. They will sell at my garage sale even for a dollar a box. I'll be happy with that. So, and I know one, one of these little boxes didn't even cost me a dollar, so... If they're not worth anything on eBay as a bundle bulk together, um, yeah, they'll just go, like I said, in my garage. So moving along now. 
some guy said, hey, I bet you want this, and it's the Mosquito Coil, brand new. And if any of you watch my videos, I just checked Current is still around. Wow. So they're making, oh, look, I got one of the cards out. Um, so the guy was like, I bet you want this. I was like, you know, I sure do because I've never bought this brand new at a store, but I did find this exact actual ceramic holder new in the box. Nobody ever used it. And it came with a new coil too. So we're going to try this out this summer. The, um, I guess it burns like an incense and it's supposed to be a mosquito repellent and you guys, I have O negative blood, um, and so I read that mosquitoes love O negative blood more than any other blood type. Regardless, we still have mosquitoes really bad. They don't just attack me, um, but they're really bad. There's a lot of trees in this neighborhood, and I have looked. I don't have standing water in my alley, in my front yard, or anything. I just cannot get rid of mosquitoes. So there was a bag or two of some cute little paper clips, and I just took out the cool um, designed ones. So I might have like five of these. I think I have like two little ones. Put that in my handy dandy drawer. And we're gonna take my handy dandy vitamins for hair, skin, and nails real quick so I don't forget. The gummy ones, cause they're like candy. Here's my neighbor. Y'all wanna hear something cool? So I had that garage sale, yes, or Saturday. No, I had it Friday. Ouch, that was a car. <clears throat> I had the garage sale Friday, and then I had it Saturday. I don't know what typo negative is, Mysterium. I don't. Um, Friday was better, and it was crazy because. Um, Someone had said that Fridays were always better, which I don't know if that's true or not, but Friday was awesome. I made good money Friday. Um, anyways, what I was saying, my neighbor texted me, and he's already given me like two things that I sold in the garage sale uh, this weekend, but then he texted me last night on a Sunday, and he's like, hey, I got some more garage sale stuff for your sale. Like He just gives me stuff. He's decluttering or whatever. And then he has a shop. And so he's like, well, all right, well, I've got some stuff in my shop. I'll bring it to you. And he just lives, throw a rock, and there he is. Um, so that's awesome. That was cool. Another thing, I should have said this in the other video, but I met a lady at my garage sale. She came by and was saying she loved garage sales, and she used to have a friend that would let her you do garage sales at her house, but the lady moved. And so she's so disappointed that she lives in the country and nobody comes. So I was like, I told her, I said, well, you're more than welcome to come have a garage sale with me if you want. Um, I have them like two or three a year, um, but I may do them more now that I go to Goodwill um, and I have so much stuff. But she said, oh, really? I would even be happy to um, pay you to come over and have a garage sale. She's like, I collect so much stuff. And yeah, so I think I got a new partner there uh, that'll help me, I don't know, maybe pay me a little bit of her earnings. Wanna hear something else cool and then we'll continue? I met a YouTuber, but she didn't know who I was. She overheard me talking to my friend Haley. Haley's never been in my garage sales, but she did come um, Friday. She was off work and she, I think she made a hundred and seventy five dollars ish and then we listed a pair of boots on Poshmark and they already sold so she made I don't know 45 or 35 from there more than what we would have got at the garage sale <clears throat> anyways so we start talking and I'm like oh yeah well do you know of the Goodwill pound store and she's like oh yeah I've been there um, but she does work full-time but uh, she said she watches Nicole stay and everybody on YouTube and she had never seen my channel, I guess. So I gave her my business card and I told her to look me up on Facebook or YouTube or whatever and we could connect and stuff. And she said something she was, I don't know, she said she did hold a gathering or wanted to hold a gathering, but nobody would 
nobody came. I don't know. Um, she was looking recently, she was looking for a bunch of local people that she could relate to and talk to, and she hasn't been able to find anybody. Well, lo and behold, here I am. Here I am. And she lives like two streets over. So, yeah. She'll post up her garage sale. Probably, we'll probably need to connect one day and message each other when we're having a sale or whatever. She said she her whole garage is full of stuff. She sells on eBay and Amazon, I think. Anyways, I'm jabbering, guys. Sorry. So, yeah, I got a banana holder because I have a banana holder, and I know that these bad boys go for 20 bucks around there, $15, $20. Um, and again, and I decorate houses for sales. So maybe if I can find some cheap bananas that are fake, I can hang them on here, and they would look cool. But I never see fake bananas. Have y'all? I don't think so. Anyways, I got that. It's metal. Okay, great neighbor. Yes, he is. He's actually famous. Literally. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this, but I will on this video. Um, I won't say his name at least. Um, but <clears throat> he literally, um, he's older, so I think he's in his 50s or 60s maybe. He gets around great. He rides a bike uh, for miles and miles to this day. By himself even. He's uh, very content riding a bike for miles and miles alone. Anyways, apparently when I first moved here, my husband was like, oh, he's the famous, um, is it dirt bike riding? He has one of those loud motorcycles that's like a dirt bike or whatever. Um, but yeah, I won't go into his name because I don't know if that's legal or anything. And I definitely don't want to spam him or anything like that but it's really kind of cool you guys my neighbor is famous maybe I have some other famous neighbors but I don't talk to all my neighbors anyways um okay so uh, a regular youtuber older guy that he goes there with his wife he said Heather you probably want this don't you and it's like a I don't know is it a dehydrator I don't know but let's just call it that but the reason why I got it is because I buy a lot of fruits and vegetables and it has like a drip tray down here for the excess water. So if I rinsed off my fruits and vegetables, I could keep it in here even after they're rinsed off and they won't sit in the foul water and get it yucky. So and I guess you can close this and stuff. I don't know. I've never had one of these, but it's not broke. And i uh, probably sure that they go for ten dollars or more probably brand new so awesome it's got a rubber lid and top so I like it I like it a lot Travis Pastrama Jeremy McGrath no none of those I wish that I could do they were in a metal band great neighbor the lead singer did play girls I don't know who that oh typo oh I, yeah typo negative the the metal band yes I've heard of that band before I used to really be into uh, harder rock when I was in high school and stuff. Um, <clears throat> Travis Pastrama, Jeremy McGrath. I don't know if that's in the band or not. Um, LOL, I thought it was a lizard cage or something. <laughs> I love your comments, Casey Wakeman. That's awesome. That's so funny. Anyways, moving along. Like as if I don't have enough kitchen stuff already. <clears throat> So this is purely for garage sale. Um, I think it looks brand new. It's Merit Marithu. <clears throat> um, TPR tube is what it says. Spot clean with soap and water. Um, the only thing I could think of this as was an exercise thing. Um, you can probably put your foot on it and stuff like that. I don't know. So it's like I said, it's, it looks so pretty pink and clean. Um, it's definitely worth the gamble to resell. Like I said, this weighs nothing, these little rubber things. So this thing probably cost me 10 or 20 cents. I'll definitely sell it for a dollar or two in a garage sale. So moving along, I found these uh, paper little tabs. They're brand new. I think you can get like something like this at Target for a dollar brand new. So I probably paid five cents for this. Um, there's a bunch of them, and it just says to do, remember, urgent, take note, important. It's going to go in my clutter drawer down there. <clears throat> okay, 
So this was cool. This was cool. I like it. I like it. I don't know if these are worth anything. Not these. I'm not talking about those. <clears throat> so I was in the Goodwill bins and I came across a bunch of metal cars. Travis Pastrana and Jeremy McGarth were famous dirt bike riders. They both had video games for Nintendo. Unfortunately, uh, anyone, well, anyone who probably did something for video games is probably rich, but, or famous is what I meant to say. Um, my neighbor is not either one of those, and I'm not lying on that, so definitely. If you could come up with the name, I might tell you, yes, who it is, but I won't, just for his privacy. Nobody likes to be bombarded, I guess. You know those famous people probably are like, oh, leave me alone. Anyways, um, so there's a metal blue car. It has a number two on it underneath of it. Um, tot, tot, Totsie Toy? Chicago is what it said? Tootsie? Is that Tootsie? Anyways, it's got its wheels. It's super, super cool. No, super cool. But guess what? I have like six of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we, is this a Porsche? Is that a Porsche? I don't know. My husband would know. He's a freaking car guy and the truck guy. Um, <clears throat> I'll read y'all what it says. So they are chipped, the paint and everything. Is that a Porsche? Anybody? Or a must? What is that? It's not a Mustang or a Cor it's not a Corvette, is it? Anywho, uh, that one says Topsy Toy 2, I think. This also has the number 2 as well. <clears throat> Is it the second edition? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so here's a green one. I don't know what car that is. My husband would totally know. Um, it looks like a race car to me. This one's better. I can read it. Yeah, it's Tootsie Toy. So it's T-O-O-T-S-I-E Toy. One word, I think. They're so cute. They're like miniature micro machines. I can't help you, LOL. Okay, you're not gonna guess his name. Um, oh, look, that they all look the same, these last three that I've shown you. Um, it's actually like aqua light blue, so they're so cute. Oh, look, I got a truck. Is it a Chevy? I think it is, or is it a Ford? Who knows? Anyways, he's black and gray, tarnished. <clears throat> oh, look, there's the same one again. I didn't realize that there are duplicates. So it looks like I have two duplicates of the blue car and exactly two duplicates of the truck. Those are cool. My kids are not getting those. Even if they're not worth anything, I don't know. Okay. Who wants to look this up for me? If not, I will look it up. So I'm hoping that this is going to be worth some money. I could probably type it in right now and it'll pull right up. We might do that. Check this out. Ready? It's a ultrasound bone healing system and all the parts are in it. It's like a machine. Um, last thing in here is just this... Um, Memory stick. I don't know if these are reusable and rewritable, but some college girl left her Texas Tech college memory card. Um, anyhow, in, in like a bag that I was going through. And I didn't know if they're reusable, so I went ahead and got it. Okay, so it's zipping up, and I'm very familiar with this brand, Smith & Nephew. I used to work in medical, and they did a lot of bandages, um, all different kinds, even lotions, creams for, um, like, the elderly or people who, whoa, that color, is in, people who are injured or sick or whatever. Um, Smith & Nephew is a very reputable, expensive brand. <clears throat> so... Nobody knows if this works yet, but we have an Exogen 4000 Bone Healing System. Check this out. Um, they didn't use it very much at all. It's got the ultrasound coupling gel. That's probably worth some money right there alone because, again, Smith & Nephew is a very expensive brand. Um, 2499 to 400 which item, Casey Blakeman? The cars? I wish. 
Seth the Mailman, you guys, I'm going to watch him. You know why? Oh, darn it. He didn't put it in there. I love my mailman. If I could say I had a crush on him, I would. Oh, there it is. <gasps> oh, it's here. It's here. I'm going to have to do another video. I know. I'm retarded, right? So I subscribed to a $5 uh, Walmart beauty box. And I think they just sent out a new one. And I've been doing unboxing reviews for um, the Exogen. Only two sold. Good deal. Thank you, Casey Lakeman. Um, I'm super excited, you guys. Like, super excited. I know the Walmart box isn't that great, but they do sometimes have some great stuff in there. If you're not familiar with it, I have, like I said, done tons of videos on the Walmart unboxing. You just go to walmart.com and sign up for a box that charges you $20 a year but $5 each time. So winter, spring, summer, and fall. <clears throat> and inside that box, sometimes you'll get a full-size mascara or product that is worth more than a $5 box. It's in the mailbox. I get to go get it. I'm so excited because it only comes four times a year. So um, let's see if the Exogen has batteries in it or not. <laughs> I hope it's not broken. Like, it still has the plastic over the monitor and everything. Seems like it would need batteries. Um, RX only. Ooh, it's for prescription only, which means that I probably won't get to sell this online, and that's why Goodwill donated it. I don't know. We'll do some research. Because, Casey Lightman, do you know, um, like... Even if you sell RX stuff, I know they sell nebulizers, you know, for the kids or elderly who need it. Um, there are They say they're prescription required, so I think that some of the eBay uh, stores on eBay have a license to sell medical devices, I think. Ooh, you guys, I'm ready to hurry up and do this haul so I can do another video. That would be three in one day. Who cares, right? Thank you, thank you, um, Casey Lakeman. Um, so yeah, there's the backpack. Straps are in real good condition. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, I got this, and it's really lightweight. Um, we don't have any more tracks. I sold them all at the Goodwill, or at the garage sale, shall I say. I despise train tracks. They're a pain in the butt, and they're stressful, unless you're a parent who likes them. So every time my kid would, well, my sister bought my son like a $100 train track that was humongous. And every time, every couple minutes, the tracks would break and he couldn't fix them himself. So he would throw the biggest fit. But I do, we do have a bunch of trains that he plays with without tracks. He doesn't even want the tracks most of the time ever. He just plays with the little uh, battery operated cars. So I went ahead and got this. It just, it was by itself. There was nothing else with it. So I don't know, we got that. We did to keep. Okay, so I got this cute little belt. It looks like a fanny pack, but it's a small fanny pack. So you could maybe only fit your smaller iPhone. I don't even think my six plus would fit in here. It wouldn't. Yeah, no. This would just be like for your money or your keys or something. I don't know. It says sport line, so. Oh, look, it's got a, a hole here for your headphones. So you can put your iPod in there or whatever. <clears throat> These are expensive. Um, at least my husband told me they were. When, you, when you're a professional painter, um, this is used by the professionals for fox painting. Um, so it's a sea sponge. And these are not cheap. I'm not sure how much they go for, but it's a natural wool sea sponge. So I went ahead and got it. It's brand new. I know that medical stuff is one of those things watched and restricted. You can sell some things, but I don't know what they are. Okay, cool. Here's some more of the little poly pockets or whatever they are. She's cute, right? Uh, this one looks like a mom. She's got a dress that's rubber. I think these are Polly Pockets. I uh, don't know what that goes to. It's a 
what do you call it? A hair thingy? And there's a head. What you doing, honey? Are you home for lunch? Yes. I shouldn't have got that one. It's all ripped up. It's damaged. Throw it away, probably. The sleeves have rips in them. Okay. And then I got a, let's see. This is St. John's Bay. Uh, it's not just the St. John's. I've seen it all over YouTube how St. John is supposed to be really expensive. I've never seen that brand in my life. But, okay, Mysterium, you're about to get blocked. You are. Um, it's genuine leather, whatever. So I went ahead and got this. Um, it felt really good quality. But I was saying... St. John's Bay, I see that crap every day, and I never buy it because I've never really looked it up if it sells good, so it might. And I just hear, again, that all the YouTubers love uh, St. John's. So I think I only got, like, two pairs of shoes. These are hideous. It's got a cotton ball on it right there. Actually, luckily, the black stuff is sticking out, and I'll cut it off. Um... I'm so excited to go get the mail. So yeah, I'll probably disclose that it has this little black stuff right here. And I'm actually cutting most of it off because these are wool. I read the tag earlier or yesterday. They're Zenzi. I've never heard of this brand. Um, they seemed kind of cheap to me. But then they also seem a little bit good quality. And then when I looked inside, I noticed it had the website where you can buy these. And it said there are 50% wool. So I went ahead and got these. They look Jamaican, I guess. Really thick right there. Message retract. Yes. He should. Okay. So it looks like there's some more black funk over here. Maybe it'll clean up. Not sure. But I'll still disclose it. These are a, so it's a US 8 to 8.5. Eight Okay, I got this ugly vintage bomber uh, wind jacket, and I do believe it still has the original tags on it, so I went ahead and got it, and a thrift store was asking $58 for it, or the retail store, let me see. You guys probably can't pick that up. Probably not, but it does have a price of $58 down here. Um, jog suit. And it says it came from Gabrielle's in Plainview, Texas, which is not too far from me. <clears throat> You're right. St. John's pay well as opposed to St. John's Bay. Yeah, I think so. That's why I never pick it up. <clears throat> okay. Last pair of shoes. I got these booties. The toes do need to be cleaned. They're suede. They look worse in the video than they are, but they are my size seven and a half. And they're made by Mossimo, just Target. And I figured since they were my size and they were kind of cute that I would go ahead and buy them for $2. Wait, does my tag even ring up shoes? Yes, two of them. Okay, yeah, she did charge me for the shoes. I didn't read that off the tag to you guys. Okay, luckily there's some plus sizes in here, so there's not actually a lot of stuff left. So I got this oversized, huge, huge cardigan that has that waterfall effect. And so it drip, drapes down a lot in the front. And I'm assuming it's like a one size, but I don't think it says. It does say it's 100% acrylic. Um, it's a medium to large, and I don't know the brand. Um, this was a brand new shirt, so I went ahead and got it. Um, has a retail of $36, so I went ahead and got it. And what is it? Just that uh, bandana print. And is that the number nine? Maybe somebody loves the number nine. And it's just solid back here. I've never heard of this brand. SGR. Extra large, made in India. It's 100% cotton, so that's awesome. That is really good. Love the sweater. I did too. That's why I uh, got it, Casey. That's why I got it. Another sweater, um, but this one's by Philosophy. 
which is a good brand, I do believe. There. And what is that, an extra large? I could wear this. It's got the lace, lace sleeves. Just a basic sweater. Okay, okay. Um, so it looks like we're doing another Goodwill or another haul after this, except it's going to be the Walmart box. This is Funky People. I found this right when I was checking out. And it's just like a boho hippie. What is this? A shirt? Yeah, because it's a large. It's just like a baby doll shirt, kind of like. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Stay up there. Okay, I found two little girl infant clothes. This one looked kind of expensive. It says My Vintage Baby Collections, I guess, by Jessica. I don't know, Jessica Simpson. I don't know, 12 medium. But look, it's got this leopard uh, waist tie, and then it has some bling bling right there. Cute roses. And now that I think about it, my brother is naming his little daughter Rose, so that's perfect, isn't it? Didn't even think about that until just now. Another one. Here's a baby Gap little dress. Um, since it was a Gap, I went ahead and got it because it's real good quality thick fabric. Okay. I got a excellent condition, really small Victoria's Secret pink bra. It looks like it was used once. And then the last three items are just a plus size uh, Ralph Lauren. And I think this is a set. So Lauren, Ralph Lauren, it's a 3X. And it's a jacket here. It's black and red. Um, it has pockets. It looks in really good condition. There's no fading or anything. Did I show that to you guys yet? 3X. It has matching pants. <clears throat> so, luckily it's a 3X as well. And I don't pick up many plus sizes, but you YouTubers are ranting and raving how plus sizes sell so much better. And actually, I think these might be, I don't know, I think they are pants. They might could pass if you're tall enough as like some cropped shorts or something, maybe. <clears throat> okay, last item is also a 3X L-RL for Ralph Lauren. Um, there's the tag. This doesn't have any fading either, really. It's got the Ralph Lauren uh, logo circle right there. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and got this too, only because it's Ralph Lauren. Um, and that sometimes can sell pretty good. So it's not that big, really, for being a 3X. But Ralph Lauren does run small. At least it does in kids. Does it run like that for adults? Do y'all know? Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. Again, Ralph Lauren and kids always is really small. So compared to the size that it says it is. So is that the same for adults? I don't know. Okay, guys, that's all of the Goodwill haul for today. Again, I think I'm going to do my third live video probably after the hubby finishes lunch. And that third video is going to be the Walmart unboxing beauty box. I'm super, super stoked. I got an email that they sent out, like I said, a different box, and I can't remember the name of it, but it sounds exciting. So we'll see you guys shortly, probably within like 20, 30 minutes. I think he'll be done or whatever just to eat lunch. So talk to you soon. Bye.